السلام عليكم hello my students welcome back to our favorite subject ICT on today lesson we are going to talk about new about a new topic some special type of network which we call it home network and this is me Mr. Albert Hassan and these are my contacts number if you need any help or support now in this lesson we are going to talk about the home network what do you mean by home network and what are the components or the devices which we use them home network most of these home network are used to access the internet so what are they and how can we use them now about the home network we can get internet connection at home so the main task or purpose of home network is to get internet connection at home this home network it uses the telephone lines or broadband cables telephone lines as modern broadbands if you use any type or a special type of uh, cable broadband or fiber optics and so on when you use a device inside our home so as to connect our device into the network it's called home router what's the home router home router is used to connect devices at home it's a network hardware it can help us to connect our computers to the internet we use it at home now about the home network you have to understand that the device which we call it home router it contains of four major components they are all combined together in one device so what are these components look at the picture it displays a sample of this home router which we use it at home the first part the first part is the router and you can see according to the picture this yellow cable it's the router cable it gets the internet connection or the internet source from outside when you plug it in that means you bring the internet connection to this device now the second part is a modem and the modem will be included or built in the device itself why do we use it to change or to convert the signals now the third part is a switch the switch also will be built in the same device so as to help you to send and receive your message or that and finally you will have a wireless access point the wireless access point is used to connect your devices wirelessly and you can find them here on the sticks so these are the four components of the home router now let's explain their task or purpose <coughs> starting with the first part now the components or the four components are used to do the following number one we have the router why do we use the router on this device we use the router to connect devices to the internet the second part or the second component is the modem and why do we use the modem we use the modem to convert signals from analog to digital and digital to analog analog because data coming from the telephone lines we convert it to digital so as to be understandable by your computer and then if you decide to send data through the internet your digital data will be converted to analog to be sent over the telephone lines the third part is the switch the switch will help you to connect your devices and send your data to the correct device so the switch so the switch is used to connect your devices and it will help you to send your data to the correct device <coughs> the last device is the wireless access point and of course 
This device will help you to connect your devices wirelessly. What do you mean by wirelessly? Wirelessly means without the need of cables. Okay, now let's talk about the types of network. Whenever you connect group or many devices together to build a network, this network can be one of two types. The first type is called local area network, which can be written LAN or LAN. L stands for local, A stands for area, N stands for network. This type of network can be built to connect devices in only one place or one building. The second type <coughs> is called wide area network which sometimes can be called WAN. W stands for wide, A stands for area, N stands for network. The second type, which is WAN network, this type of network is when you decide to connect many computers which are very far from each other. They can be distributed or they can be located in different cities or you can connect many local area networks together from city or between cities so these are the types of network <coughs> we're going to talk a little about the first type which is the local area network or the LAN network now about local area network or LAN you have to know that it's a little bigger than your home network because you will have different devices and extra devices which can be connected together and these devices on this network they will be connected at one building so though the LAN network it connects computers at one building or at simple or uh, small places it uses cables to connect the devices most of the LANs they are used to connect each device each other using the cables some of them can be connected without cables which you call them wireless but for now we're going to talk about the cables so it uses cables to connect the devices and then you can build your LAN or your local area network now when you need to connect the cables to your network that means if you have a LAN and you decide to connect your network LAN or LAN network using cables you have some types of cables which you can use actually we are going to talk about two types of cables the first type of cables we we'll call it copper cables and the second type is called fiber optic cable the first one copper cables you see the picture it displays is the standard or the most common type of cables which used it's used always for small building or small local area networks the second type of cables which we can use we call it fiber optic cables and this is the shape of the fiber optics fiber optics is faster than copper cables so technically they improve the copper cables by the fiber optic cables so as to send your data faster than the copper now let's explain or compare the types of cables let's make a comparison between them first we are going to start with the copper cables what do you mean by copper cables <coughs> now about the copper cables first of all they are the most common cables they are most used they are very uh, used or uh, they are very known for most of the people so they are most common cables these types of cables they are made up of pairs of thin copper wires 
basic material by which you can create or build <coughs> these cables it's the copper itself so it's made up of pairs of very thin copper wires and then finally when you use these cables to send data the data will be sent as pulses of electricity so it's very important to know that data on copper cables will be sent in a shape or a format of pulses of electricity that means of electrons this is about the first type of cable which is the copper now let's move to the second part to the second type of cables which is fiber the fiber optic cables it's the new one and it's made up of thin clear very clear and soft fiber why is that to make the send of data faster so that is sent as pulses but this time of light and we all knew that light is faster than electricity light is the fastest object in the world or over the world or the university so data can be sent in a shape of pulse uh, or a pulses of light because of that using fiber optics is will send data faster than cover cables <coughs> now previously we talked about the characteristics or features of each cable now let's make a comparison between them to see or to understand or to explain the differences between Cooper cables and fiber optic cables what are the differences there are three or we are going to discuss three major differences between them first I'm going to start with the Cooper cables the difference is number one the data send is lower than the fiber so the first one Cooper cable when it send data it send it in lower speed secondly Cooper cables used for short distances for limited places one office one home and so on and it's very cheap the price of when you start when you decide to buy some Cooper cables they are very cheap these are the differences between or these are the points on the copper cable now about the fiber optics when you decide to send data data send is very fast it's faster than copper why is that because data will be converted into light and they are used for long distances very far distances sometimes between cities sometimes between uh, homes or buildings which is more than one or two kilometers and so on they are the best cables to connect buildings like this and finally it's expensive it's more expensive than the copper cables these are the differences between using the copper cables or the fiber optic cables which are types of cables or these two types we use them to connect or to build our LAN <coughs> now after we talk about the cables and the type of network which is LAN remember in some companies or organizations if there is a company in one building and it has many devices or computer devices they need to connect all these devices together to organize the work and to make sure that they make up their network correctly in this case the company will need something called the server room what's the server room the server room is a very big room which involve all the servers switches and hubs of the company look at the picture this is a shape or this is a picture of a server room in a very big company you see all these devices these devices are switches hubs and servers and so on now whenever the, se the server is used in the company it will be at the center of the network so all the network will be controlled and managed by the server room so it must be at the center and this room must be conditioned it must be fully conditioned okay why is that why you need to make it very cold why do we need to condition it because it's get hot of heat 
why is that because you have many devices you have many switches which are running that generates some heat very high or very lot of heat so because of that you need to condition it to make it cold so it's a mark to be conditioned or cold this room it contains or must contains all the servers switches and hubs in the network or in the company why because it's the center it's the base point in your net, uh, in your company and all devices should be or must be connected there look at the picture again all these are group of switches and servers and hubs which are all connected by cables okay when you plug in a computer to the network it means that it will be connected to your network according to some settings so now your computer will be a part of network so this is a very good point about using the server when you plug in a computer it will be connected to your network and your data through all computers on the company will pass over all servers so data passes or moved over all servers, switches and hubs to go from device to another device to be sent from office to another office and so on <coughs> now sometimes you may have a very big building and your office may be uh, they will be for example a very far from your server room in this case you are going to use an interface a middle room a connected room to connect your far devices with the server room this room is called the hub room so what's the hub room the hub room is a room that contains only switches and hubs there is no servers this is a big difference between hub room and the server room the hub room contains only switches and hub so there is no server okay why do you use it the hub room it's used when the computers are very far away from the servers room if they are very far away if they are very complicated building if there is any problem by which they cannot connect immediately to the server room in this case we need to connect them with a hub room so the hub room will connect all your company devices into the server room all computers will be connected to the hub room and then they will be connected to the server room so that's all about today lesson we talk about the home network we talk about the server room and we call we talk about the hub room thank you very much see you next class inshallah assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh